I'm back with another video today and I'm actually filming on a different lens um, so I'm a lot closer to the camera which feels really weird like I can literally touch the camera so um, anyway today I thought I'd film a slightly different video so I, I've i been recently enjoying watching the like what's on my phone videos in particular like iPhones and things and I thought maybe it might be an interesting one for me to film um, and I'm kind of gonna just do a run through of what's on it and then I'll do like a cutaway to show you like some of my favourite apps and everything um, so I mean hopefully it's gonna be interesting for you um, if it is then thumbs up if not then exit now if you don't want to watch it but yeah so I'll just get on to it so I'll start off by showing you with my phone that I have and I have the iPhone 6 and I am really happy with it it's a nice size and I do have an awfully large case on it though so I'll just show you so this is my phone and you, if you saw one of my recent videos you may have seen this case already but it is the Moschino kind of Barbie mirror case um, and it is huge like the phone is just that width but then obviously the case is huge so it's like it's a mirror on the back try not to blind you all and then the front is the phone and I'll just take it out of this for the video just because it'll probably be easier if I just take it out so um, yeah so that's the case as I said it's Moschino and it's the Barbie mirror one and you might be able to see there that it just says Moschino there and yeah I really like this case it's definitely big and I don't use it every day because it doesn't fit in every bag but um, for the most part I use this. So this is my actual phone and it's the iPhone 6 as I said and I have it in the gold. To me it looks kind of rose gold so that's what I like but it is gold and white on the front. Let's start with on my phone so my, I don't know where you can see this, my screensaver, wallpaper whatever you want to call it, is just kind of, mm, bye. It's just kind of like rabbits. It's kind of a random one, I just wanted something pink to match my phone cover so I just went with this. And I ha this is actually like the touch screen one which I yes. love because I had the 5 before and I believe the touch thing only came with the 5S so I never really got that but this is the first one I've had it and it's quite exciting. So I'll just start off by showing you. So my front page, let's give you an overview first. So that's the front page and then the next page and then the final page is just ones that I don't really care about. So on the first page, let's just go through them. So I just have, um, I have the entire thing full, which some people might not like that, but I personally, it works for me. So I'll just go through them. So I have contacts, messages, notes and clock. They're all standard. Camera, everyone knows about the camera. Photos, how many photos do I have? 1,157, which is not a lot. And I love the fact that they have a deleted folder now on photos. That's quite handy. Um, then I just have calendar, weather app, I have BBC weather because the one that came on the phone I don't really like, um, it was kind of bored me, BBC weather's quite good, it kind of shows you like the weather changes on it so it'll start raining on the screen if it's raining, sunny and everything like that. I have a standard calculator, I changed my maps to Google Maps because I find it so much better than maps. Um, you've all seen Google Maps before. Then I have the settings app store, iTunes store which... I use more to see what current albums there are or like who's brought out a new album rather than actually buying from iTunes because I very rarely buy from iTunes my music. Then I have the blog loving app, then I have Afterlight so that's probably my all time favourite app to use to edit my Instagram pictures on um, so I'll probably just show you how I edit my Instagram pictures now. So my favourite app is the Afterlight app that's for like editing Instagram pictures and stuff and I really like, um, it has a lot of features, it lets you do a lot and this is pretty much the app I use to edit all my pictures. I just add, I use like a frame one for some, some ones but this is mainly it. So I'll just find a picture. Right, so let's just go with this one. So this is just um, a picture I took of like a Macosta drink the other day. And so to start with I always put on for Instagram a border and I do it at 20. Like that. So that just creates like this white border. And the good thing about Afterlight is you can hold it to see what your picture looked like before. So then usually I just kind of up the brightness and the contrast. But then I usually take the saturation down slightly like that. Then I'll add some shadow. This, I, this picture I don't really like so I probably wouldn't end up using this picture but for just demonstration purposes this is what I would do and then occasionally I would add some more sharpness if it needs it and then that's it basically so you just do done and save to camera roll then I have Instagram which 
you all, you all probably love Instagram as much as I do. I love Instagram. I try to post quite frequently, but it doesn't always work out. Then I have my standards like Twitter, Facebook, I have the YouTube app, um, Snapchat I've recently got into. Um, you can follow me on Snapchat if you'd like. Um, it is down below, my Snapchat. I just kind of, I've only just kind of gotten used to it, so it's just me messing around. Um, but might be interesting to follow. Um, I have the Facebook Messenger app. I hate the fact that they've turned, more, brought it into a separate app. Why is that necessary? It was perfectly fine being in the Facebook app, but no, now it's a separate app. Then I have WhatsApp. Um, then the two kind of gaming, gaming kind of apps that I play the most. The Candy Crush Soda version. You have to get it right, the soda one. I don't really play the other one. It was this kind of when I'm on like a train or something, I'll play that. And then the Kim Kardashian app which clearly I have not played for a while because it has 24 notifications but I like this app, it's just a fun one to play I'm a fan of the Kardashians so it's just a fun one to play when I'm bored now on to the next page and I'll start off, so I have everything in kind of folders um, so I'll start off with this folder and it's just like a thumbs up folder, I'm not really sure why so it just has my bank app, check like my balances and etc, paypal app BT Wi-Fi app which is quite a good one, um, it tells you like your nearest hotspots and stuff when you're out and about so that one is quite useful. I have my O2 which I use to check out like my bill for my O2 and how much data I've got left etc. O2 Priority which is great to get some like freebies and things, um, they do quite a lot of freebies. And then Shazam, I use this on the radio a lot, this is, if you don't know what Shazam is it's kind of just like a way of, um, when you're listening to music you can just let Shazam listen to it and then it tells you what the song and the artist is and everything, it's good for the radio. Um, then I have Clue, then I have National Rail, Blogger, which I never use Blogger so I don't know why I have it but anyway. Then I have O2 Tickets, Train Line and Fine Friends which I don't really use that often. Games, I have an excessive amount of games considering I don't really play them that often but I'll just quickly run through. So I've got Candy Crush, Flappy Bird, Robot Unicorn, Angry Birds, Star Wars Edition. Flow Free, Piano, Stick Hero, Family Guy, Peak, Temple Run, Tiny Tower, Sandslide, A Bubble Shooter, Circle, Elf Yourself, True or False, Dumb Ways to Die 2, Crossy Road, Cover, Charades, 94% which I love 94% that is a good game. Basically you get these like three options and then say this is dog, this one's about dogs. Then you have to go across and find all the answers that people would have said that equal the 94% so I'd go with like animal that is not how you spell animal, pet maybe and then 11% of people said pet and that's basically how it works that out and then Flappy Thrones for those of you who are fans of Flappy Bird and Game of Thrones that is the two combined so now onto this folder which is kind of just a picture of my phone and a screen I'm not really sure why but in here I just have, I don't really use these that often, so it's just the Tumblr app um, which I have a Tumblr but I don't really use it that much but I'll link it down below anyway if you want to have a look um, Tube Map for if ever Uber I'm app I've never used because where I live they don't have Ubers but I was told to get the app for if I'm ever like in the city or something so I have that Time Hop which you can like see what you were doing on Twitter, Facebook etc a couple of years ago but I never use it Spotify, which I don't have a Spotify account, so I don't really know why I have this on here, but anyway. Buzzfeed is a good one for if you're bored. Um, I'll occasionally look at this if I'm just feeling bored or on the train or something because it has some interesting things to read. LinkedIn is good. Now that I'm out of university, I use this a lot more than I used to. Then I have my camera folder. So the apps I have in here are Over, Spark Mode, PicFX, VSCO cam which I used to use all the time but now I don't. I use Afterlight which was on the, my front page because that's the only one I use really. Pick Stitch which I used to use all the time for like my blog outfit photos but now I've changed to use Layout which is the one that Instagram brought out. And it's basically I used to use Pick Stick, Pick Stitch but now I use this one because it's better. So basically I just choose two pictures so I'll just choose like my outfit ones that I did. So you just pick the two, so let's go that and that. And then you basically you have all these like options of frames and stuff. Um, obviously you can pick more multiple pictures if you want, so you can pick like as many as many as you want. But I usually just pick two and then I usually just go on this one and then you can slide it across. 
so you can get the different widths etc you can make them bigger or smaller and then that's basically that app so I use that to edit all my Instagram pictures when I want to do it in like a thing and then you just save it and it's done frame magic I don't use but I have it anyway followers is just Instagram followers hyperlapse is a really good app if you want to film like I've used it on like a train journey or something when you just film say like a five minute clip and it condenses it down to like 30 seconds or something it's really good for Instagram and then GIF keyboard, face fusion, merging booth, hair colour these were just ones I was kind of messing around with with some friends once and they were just still there hair colour is quite good I tricked people on April Fools to think I had dyed my hair pink so that's quite a good one uh, Moldive followers, Smart View Pro and Shop K they don't use any of those but they're just there then I have the shopping folder, this is probably the one that I go on a lot, or most frequently, and I have just my kind of regular shops that I go to, so Topshop, Amazon, I use the Amazon app a lot, ASOS, I use that app a lot, Zara, hmm, it's an okay app, River Island, H&M, New Look, eBay I use quite a lot, Dorothy Perkins, I don't use ever, but I have the app for some reason, and the next page, my Uni Days app, um, Net Porter, the Outnet, Boots, Depop, Matalan and Emoticarl which is a random app, it's like emojis but for like Carl Lagerfeld related um, but again if people don't have the app they can't see you using them so it's a bit pointless. Then this kind of unfacial expression folder um, is the ones that I never use, like I very rarely use any of these apps and they're just like QR reader Remote, FaceTime, Dropbox, Ringtones, iMovie, which I didn't know that the iPhones came with iMovie on, but I might start using that because I bet that could be quite good for Instagram and stuff. Um, Newsstand, Buffer, Analytics and then just videos. Then I have Fitness, so I've been trying to get into Fitness a little bit more. Um, so I just have my Fitness Pal, which is a great one for like keeping up with like calories and how much you exercise you do etc and it kind of works out if you're on track or to achieve goals etc then water daily which is a nice one to see how much water you've drank so you kind of just shake it and then shake it and then it like adds a percentage of like how much you've set to drink and then once you've completed it it's like a, a goal it's just, it's just quite a handy one to have really um, then the health app which you get on the phone and that's good for like steps, it counts your steps which I didn't know. 7 minute workouts are really really good, they are so hard to do though once you get kind of near the end of them but they are good, they're well worth it. Then the first day ab challenge which I've actually started three times but never finished, um, so that's saying something about me. Headspace, run keeper is for when you're going on runs and I've started going on a couple of runs so I'm going to start using that more and then sleep cycle is one that um, I occasionally use, it kind of monitors your sleep and then wakes you up at like the optimum time when you're in your lightest sleep. Um, then I have podcasts which I like this app a lot, um, I only ever listen to the Nerdist podcast so I actually listen to one now and the Nerdist podcast they bring out a new one every week I believe and a lot of them I don't know who the people are but occasionally like this one is Kate Walsh and she is my favourite actress um, so occasionally there'll be one that I want to listen to and they are usually an hour, this one's an hour and 15 minutes so um, it's quite good for a train journey or stuff like that. I do listen to them in the car sometimes as well. And I have Mail Online, Daily Mail app so that's just like if I'm bored or something and just want to see what's going. I usually go on like the showbiz one or the female one and see see what's happening basically. Yeah. That's everything that's on my phone. Um, I hope you found this video enjoyable, interesting. I'm not sure I enjoy watching these kinds of videos and I think they're quite good to see how people organise their phone. I mean mine's kind of the front page is just everything that I like and then the next two pages as you can see are all in folders whereas I know some people just kind of have everything on the pages they have like pages and pages I only have two but some people have like eight pages of apps which I couldn't deal with but yeah so anyway I hope you found it um, interesting and if you did then don't forget to like a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you want to see the subscribe button is down there I always do that but it's actually down there hit the subscribe button if you want to see my future videos and 
yes I'm gonna change my schedule in a little bit I think and I think I'm gonna start posting as on Sunday like I have been doing and Tuesday so mixing up the two days that I've been posting and try and get two videos up a week just because I don't know I'm enjoying making the videos and I thought it might be good to get two a week up so let me know what you think about that idea but anyway I will see you in my next video um bye